Welcome. Hello, beautiful souls. Thank you so much for tapping in, turning on, tuning in with I and Chant with Step Babbler on our evolutionary, revolutionary rise of high that is happening here at this time. And so, yeah, um, this is probably going to be a short one, nothing too crazy. Um, I'm not pulling any cards, so if that's what you're looking for and all this kind of stuff, you can consider all my messages, channeled messages, whether I use cards or not. I don't usually... I don't need the cards to read, to channel, to divine. Um, it's just something that I find myself drawn to ever since I was a little girl. If you are new here, um, definitely watch many of my old, many of my videos. I have over a thousand um, videos um, piled from the last like seven years here on YouTube. Seven, eight years. I don't even know how long it's been, but um, you know. Um, I use the card sometimes I don't you know what I mean I whatever the case may be um it's not needed is the point I'm just trying to make um either way um what's up <laughs> I hope that when you receive this message and you see this video that you are in the best of your alchemy and alignment no matter what is happening around you in this world and stuff like that um you know I just, I'm hearing right now, like, you know, certain things have to fall apart in order for the alignment, the alchemy to be put together in the way that it should. And I feel like we're seeing that in this world today, especially with whatever is happening, like, you know, in, in whether it's politics, celebrity scandals, celebrities, um, news media, pop culture, whatever the case may be, we're seeing um a development of evolution take place and all the world's a stage is what i hear too you know channeling my shakespeare my shakespearean um roots and stuff like that um so although everything can be viewed as a conspiracy in some kind of way or an agenda a hidden agenda and stuff like that we can't get lost in those wordings we can't get lost in those happenings we can't get you know um caught up in all of that which is maybe or maybe not you know what i mean but i feel like the foundations that rule there's a systematic um overruling happening and, I, and i'm getting like um flashes of old YouTube videos of mine, I don't know which ones, but where I'm talking about overruling and and stuff like that. So I feel like the powers that be are overruling certain kind of things. And it has nothing to do with the humans here on earth playing chess, playing games, having their agendas. I feel like there's a power dynamic, quantum force taking place. And it's just um it's navigating certain kind of awakening, certain kind of, there's always going to be awakenings no matter what world realm we dimension we awaken to or we find ourselves operating on. Awakenings are a part of our evolution. It's a part of our revolution. It's a part of who we are. I want to get emotional, but, you know, and so there's a lot of infrastructure structures that are coming down, right? They're coming down because they have to. And it's, we can say it's karma, we can say it's about time, we can say all these kind of things, but it's kind of like astrology, although it's conditioned into our environment too. So, you know, although it does apply, it doesn't apply. You know what I mean? And it goes to like, even from when I was a young girl and I started doing my uh, birth charts and stuff and I would argue with my birth charts, like both Vedic and Western. And I'd be like, no, 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 no. And then here we are, like, you know, rebuilding or unconditioning or conditioning and trying to figure things out for ourselves and seeing what's true and what's not true and stuff like that. So it's kind of like that. It's We're seeing what's true and what's not true. Because um, for ourselves, and even though it, it's worldly, we must learn it for ourselves. You know, this coming undone, this something 
that has to be one, W-O-N, one, but O-N-E, one, that's you, you know? And so we can get caught up out there in all this technological information that can be misinformation and, and it can really fudge up our system. You know what I mean? So, so you might find yourself in a position of recalibrating, right? If you're tapped in, turned on, tuned in here with me, you're recalibrating, you're renewing, you're hermiting, you're revising, you're figuring it out for yourself because you need to for sanity. For sanity, we must go insane. Insane in the membrane. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so here we are. Right? Beautiful by far. You're beautiful. And if there's a wish I can have for each and every one of you is to accept yourself as you are, the way you are. No matter how this world can make you feel. And so, you know, it's time, right? So we're going to start seeing a lot more of rulers becoming unruly, being unruled, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, you're going to see a lot of coming undone externally, people in places of power being disempowered. And you'll still see people in power that may have hidden agendas or play games, right? But as you illuminate, you become illuminated. And it's, it's chess, not checkers, right? They say, but it's not chess either. <laughs> it's not chess either. Although many are playing chess. Many are playing chess, and some don't even know how to play checkers. <laughs> but there's a quantum leap. So you know the part of checkers when you see that you can jump, 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 and eat so many, like, on a diagonal. But look at, I'm seeing the seven. I'm seeing la goose, the room, two, right? La goose, the room, la goose, which is, like, like a seven or a dagger or like whatever. Um, I'm seeing Lagos, the room, right? Let's let's see. Lagos, right? But I just feel like it's about reorder, right? Lagos, the room. Um, Subconscious, collective memory, unity, psychic powers, dreams. Oh my gosh, in your dreams. Are you writing them down? If not, here's a reminder, write them sheets down. And if you are having trouble remembering your dreams, then you really need to ask yourself what it is that you could cut back on. It's going to help you reestablish your relationship with your subconscious in your dream realm because it's fucking important. It's so important to tap in, turn on, tune in, right? It's so important to, when you wake up, to even if it's just fragments, pull those fucking fragments together. You have the power to do so. And the more that you practice it, the more that you, you, you put an effort into doing that, you'll see that even throughout the course of your fucking day, you'll be recalling certain fragments of your dreams, write them down because it's important. The universe is speaking to you. Your subconscious is speaking to you. That's it. Pay attention to your daydreams because that's just as good as the dream realm, right? So our future selves, look at Lagos, our future selves call us from infinite past and each night are eroded within our dreams. Oh my God. Thinking, gosh. <laughs> Lagos. 
literally water or ocean as a Taurus. So now, so in, so in one of my dream sequences, the ocean was, it, it, it was a body of water. The body of water was standing tall, right? There was nothing blocking the body of water. So I can enter the body of water, right? There's nothing blocking. So like literally the water is, it's it's tall. It's 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 it's, it's above. It's 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 a giant, right? But it was calm. It was calm. It was calm. And so here you are stilling your waters, navigating this ocean, parting this sea. And above you stands this giant, ready when you are. Okay? Ready when you are. So rune of the unconscious context of becoming or the evolutionary process. I can't watch myself because sometimes I astound myself, but I know it's not myself. I know that it's the divine within me because I'm just a conduit for all of this shit. And so even me, the human, tries to make sense of it all, you know? And so just like you, I'm trying to make sense of it all. But to be a channel for the divine, you have to silence yourself every single time. And so I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, in awe of my channel <laughs> and channeling, right? So, rune of the unconscious context of becoming or the evolutionary process, rune of life's longing for itself. Are you longing for itself, right? It's about emotion, psychic powers, unconscious mental process, love, dreaming. It's life energy, it's ocean, it's spirit, it's origins of life, collective unconscious, the astral plane, love as unity, evolution. On a mundane level, it's water, it's the imagination, occultism, dreams. So in divination, it's about life and passing tests, the sea of vitality and of the unconscious growth. Oh my God, my dream is making so much fucking sense right now. Sorry. And that's what's going to happen. So the more that you tap in, turn on, tune in, and put in effort to write the shit down, even if you wake up numerous times in the course of the night, write the shit down, you know? Put it all together later. Like, I'm always adding to my shit. Like, oh, oh, I remember another part. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, 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 okay. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. Um, it's about memory, dreams, fear, right? And watch all my videos, but my latest video was about, and then I shared my my skydiving video, right? A snippet where it's like, get, greet your fear and fly. You know what I mean? Definitely watch my other video. It's about the new moon. Um, there's a playlist for astrology stuff and things like that. You can go to that playlist as well. I'm telling you, there's thousands of... I, I shared in my community board tab, whatever. Go to my community board tab. I had gotten um, divine insight to share a video from four years ago, from 12-12, four years ago. Pay attention to that now. There's messages in that too. There's messages in that too. And then I, I shared two other videos that are in connection to that 1212 portal from four years ago or so, it was like four years ago or so, where it's act as if, that's part one and part two, that's in my community board too. Go watch that too. A lot of people are like, oh, you know, things don't apply now, but I should be applying. You know what I mean? So, um, Things in circular motion, so in divination, circular motion, avoidance, withering, could be depression, manipulations, emotional blackmail, lack of moral fiber, fantasy, poison, toxicity, right? So Laguz cover, governs transpersonal powers, mastery of emotion in order to shape word, 
guidance through difficult initi initiatory tests, initiation into life, increase in vitality and life force, communication between your conscious mind to another con unconscious mind, the ability to speak because you are the veil unveiled. Oh my. Right. Development of second sight or prophetic wisdom. All powers of dreaming. Lucid astral projection. Water is the symbol of the unconscious and invisible life force. All of life is dependent on water and therefore Laguz represents the universal ocean, the supreme unity of all life, past, present, and future. The dream state and the Jungian shadow, right? And even in the dream, it was it was so crazy because there was a bridge, right? There was a walkway and there was a bridge. And the bridge was like this. I have to actually share this video. I haven't even shared it yet, but it was from like months ago. This was like the summertime, one of my um activities and stuff like that and travels and stuff like that. I did this treetop house, treetop climb. Another moment of facing my fucking fears of like, like you're safe, you're strapped and all this other kind of stuff and you're climbing and you're doing these different obstacles. I was such a chicken shit. So let me tell you, I did it and stuff like that. But still like <laughs> my best friend was like, what the hell? Like this tough girl and all this kind of stuff. And I was just like, I'm on film. Like I, I even recorded myself and I was just like, Never again, never again. I'm never doing this again. Like, and mind you, like, and and even at one point, I had to get rescued. <laughs> I had to get rescued because I had to go on the like, you know, oh, like you're going on a thing, and and when I get to the thing, I'm supposed to jump onto the next tree thingy or whatever. But instead, I went back and I went back to the middle, and I was like, I can't. And somebody had to come and rescue me and carry me to the other part. But anyways, that was towards the end anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, but um, what was the whole point of that? But fear. Oh, so in the dream. So in the dream, there was this like family, this guy or girl or whatever with two kids, and you had two paths, right? And you could walk straight. And then there was this bridge and the bridge was kind of like one of those treetop thingies, like whatever. But all of a sudden I'm on the bridge and I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like how, how, how did I get on the bridge? Like I, that's not the route that I wanted to go. And so the bridge was making me bounce, like bounce, bounce. And I'm like in the sky, bouncing in the sky. But as I'm doing it, I'm like, this is not so bad. I'm like, I'm soaring. This is not so bad. Right. So it could be like that. Right. Like when you, <laughs> When you face that fear, when you realize that you can soar, that it's not so bad, right? So anyways, I don't want to talk more about that, but just, just anyways, that was part of it. And so um, the dream state in the Jungian shadow element both linger beneath its surface and human unconscious is revealed when explored and exposed to the conscious mind. We take the plunge. To the runic initiate, the unconscious forces. Oh, hold on. I have to get that. I really do. Um, 